Hi, I'm Rebecca and I am a Jamboree consultant and I am going to show you a method called the 123 application to quickly and effectively apply your Jamboree nail wraps. So, this is what you need to get a full manicure pedicure plus a few accent nails. When you get this, you're going to use it to figure out which wrap is the best size for your nails. I've already done that with the wrap I'm going to apply. The key is that you want the wrap to be slightly smaller than your nail. You don't want any part of the wrap to be touching your finger or your cuticle. Um, prep is probably the most one of the most important pieces of getting your nails ready. Before you even start the application process, you should really be spending a good amount of time prepping your nails. That consists of removing all of the cuticle, the invisible cuticle, as well as the one you can see. You can use a product for that. You can use one of these little orange stick pushers to push it all back really well, but that's really important. You also want to probably buff your nail a little bit, shape it, and then wash it really well with dish soap to get all of the oil off of your nail. Really important. Then the final step with prep is you want to clean it with an alcohol wipe or one of the Jamberry nail prep wipes, but clean it really well, get all that oil off, and make sure you don't touch it again. And I keep that handy just in case. All right. So now that my nail is all prepped, I'm going to go and I'm going to grab the wrap using my orange stick so I don't touch it with my finger. It's really important not to get any of your nail oil onto the wrap. So I'm only going to use the orange stick like that to lift it without touching the wrap at all. Now I've got my mini heater right here that I'm going to turn on. You don't need the mini heater, you can use a blow dryer, but the mini heater is great because now both my hands are free. It's the perfect amount of heat and I can leave it on during my application. Once it's heated up, it just takes a few seconds, I'm probably going to just lightly get this a little bit heated on the bottom before I apply it. This is kind of like a half cold method. I'm not fully heating up the wrap, but I want to kind of get the stickiness on the back going, especially because I'm using a sparkle wrap. And these are the kind that need the most heat generally and the most pressure to stick. Okay, so I'm going to just get it a little bit hot. I'm going to stick it just lightly on the middle of my nail, not really pressing down at all, just making sure it's where I want it to be. I can adjust it using the end if it's not quite there. Okay, so now here comes the one. I'm going to heat it for about five seconds. And then I'm going to gently press from the cuticle to the end very firmly. This is the one step one in the one, two, three process. You can also use this little tool here, which is really helpful to kind of get it down at the cuticle, but it's not, not always necessary. Your finger works well too. So part two is I'm going to heat one of the sides for about five seconds or so. Now the reason why I want to do each side at a time is because the wraps really need to be hot and pliable if you want them to stick to your nail. The wraps wanna go flat, your nail is curved. So if you don't heat it one side at a time, you might get bubbling and rippling on your nail, on the wrap, especially if you're using kind of one of these thicker ones, like a sparkle one. Okay, so I've pushed that down really well. Now, step three will be the other side. So I'll heat the other side. And then I will push that one down as well using both my finger and the pusher. Okay. All right. So you know what? I'm also going to zap it one more time since it's a sparkle wrap and it's pretty thick and I want to make sure I get a good stick with this. Okay. More pressure. I'll turn my heater off because I'm not going to do another nail since this is just to demonstrate. Okay. All right, so I've got it on. I've used a lot of pressure 
I've even used my pusher here to make sure it's down all around. So you've got this extra wrap at the end. You can just file it immediately, but if it's really long like this, I like to cut it first. You can also trim using using clippers. It's totally up to you. It depends how long your nails are. If your nails are really long, you're going to want to probably use a nail file. If they're really short, it might be hard for you to get in there with the nail file, so you might need to use the clipper. Either way is fine. All right, so got my file. I want to wait till my wrap has cooled down a little bit before I file it, and then I'm just going to go at kind of a 90 degree angle down to get off that excess wrap. And it will just come right off. There it goes. Some people like to do it more of a 45 degree angle to have a little bit of nail showing. They feel like it doesn't snag. There's less of a chance of snagging if you have a little bit of nail showing at the end as opposed to that 90 degree angle. It's not noticeable to other people, but for you. And then sometimes if I can't get in there easily, just use my little nail clippers to clip that little bit of excess off. And there you go. A good test to see if you filed enough is by running your nail down your shirt. If it snags, you probably need to do more filing or more buffing, but that's pretty much how you do it. And there we go, we're ready. Love them very much. Be sure to reach out if you have any questions at all about the one, two, three method or any part of application. Thank you so much.